Greetings everyone, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we will show you how to remove the Wix logo from your Wix website because we believe having your own logo or no logo at all can give your website a more professional and customized experience. But before we jump right into it, if you are new here or haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button below and do not forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. And to our returning viewers and subscribers, welcome back. You are the heart and soul of our channel and we are grateful for your continued support. Now, before we remove the logo, all you gotta do is go first to the web browser of your choice. Right now, I'm using, well, uh, Google Chrome, but Wix.com is compatible to all known type of uh, browsers such as Brave, Safari, Microsoft Edge, and Firefox. So once you are here in uh, Wix.com, all you gotta do is sign up and create your account. It's free. It's, it's super easy and simple. Once you've successfully created your account, log in using your credentials. And when you log in on that, you will be seen to the your uh, dashboard here, okay? Right here. Once you're in dashboard, all I gotta do is um. Go here to uh, the uh, edit website right here. Okay. Okay, preview your site on the Wix editor. You have to check the uh, the inspect uh, option on your on the top of your uh home uh the header which uh right beside your domain's name because in order for you to remove uh, the uh wix logo right you would want it to uh prefer a more polished and professional appearance for the websites because removing the wix logo helps achieve this by eliminating any third party branding so all you gotta do is go here in the element sections and because a website is often a critical part of a brand's identity so removing the wix logo up allows for a greater control over the website's branding and it aligns with the brand's image and message right so a website that doesn't display the wix logo may be perceived as more credible and trustworthy by your visitors right and it is especially important for any business looking to build trust with the audience and also for established businesses or brands maintaining a consistency in branding is crucial and removing third-party logos like the wix logo ensures that your website aligns perfectly with your overall branding party and some users may be concerned about privacy issues related to a third-party logos or branding on the websites and they prefer to remove them for these reasons also you, what you can do is um you can upgrade here, so it's going to be a lot easier if you don't know how to manage uh, using the inspect um, options, right? You will be given an option to upgrade for your um, for your uh, plan. And it's also important to note that removing the Wix logo typically requires upgrading to a premium plan, which is here, right here, okay? Because it's a feature... That is often often 
part of the benefits offered to a paying customer. So the specific steps for logo removal may vary depending on the version of Wix and the plan you were using. So here, well, since I'm using a free account, but if you're using the business VIP, you know, you can always upgrade to a uh, business unlimited and the business basic. So these uh, plans have their own features, the pros and the cons as well. So you have your, you have here all your access with regards to what you can and what you can do. Yeah, sh you can actually go here for the show all features. And if you have like problems navigating the the website as well, all you gotta do is you go to chat to the live agent. So the live agent support will definitely help you with all your concerns and guide you through how to remove the Wix logo in your Wix website. And I believe that's a wrap for today's video. If you find it, if you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.